What's going on, guys? Um, so what you are looking at is the face of Officer Peters. Uh, this is uh, one of the rapists that um, was actually following me, monitoring me um, a night in the Target parking lot. And this is, I had to call uh, the police on the police uh, when this happened. And that's where the video is showing uh, me making that police report on him. And this is the kind of thing that they do on a regular basis. You know, they pull up in the parking lot, waiting for me to come out of places at night, especially if it's that night. And then they'll proceed to follow me to whatever location that I'm going to be sitting at, waiting for me to fall asleep. They'll have homeless people, people on bikes, people walking through, trying to see if I'm asleep to monitor that. And then once I am, they'll be told and they'll come over and they'll violate me. If you look at him, he looks like he's high. Um, he looked extremely high uh, when I seen him that night. When I called the police and they showed up, he showed up with this other police officer that, that showed up and was trying to talk to me. And I was just like, this is the officer that pulled up and was talking to me along the side, this uh, Peters, who was the guy that I was actually calling the police on. And they both seemed very detached. Uh, while I was talking to him, he just seemed like he was out of it. You know, um, I don't know if I still have the video, but I'll look and see if I still have the video of the, the actual encounter. Uh, but um, these are all the people that popped up that night. It was almost, it was about five or six of them. He pulled up, this guy back here pulled up. Um, this is the one that you just seen the, the, the front camera of. And then this guy here, they all pulled up at the same time whenever I made the call. Um, so you really need this many police officers to, to show up when you uh, call about being uh, stalked. But these police officers are all the ones that are going to pop up whenever a phone call is made by me. A 911 call is called and made by me. And that's what happened. When I made the phone call and said what it was about, initially when I made the phone call, I went into this uh, restaurant called Cafe Rio and I uh, asked them if they could they could call 911. They got on the phone, the restaurant call, uh, phone and called 911. And, you know, they're on the phone talking with... Uh, with the uh, the operator and they give the phone to me and I'm talking to the operator. I'm telling her what I need and what's, you know, why, why I'm trying to get, you know, some assistance. And, um, she, she gets off the phone. This is a 911 call. She gets off the phone and she puts me on hold. And then when they come back, it's a different woman. And so she's asking me all these same questions. And I say, I just told you all this. And she's like, no, 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 no. I, that was someone else. And so I said, why was someone else on a 911 call? Why was there another operator on the 911 call? She didn't want to answer it. So I kept asking her and she just refused to answer it. And she just kept asking me. I said, you know what? I'm not going to give you this information again. I need an officer out here. I'm being stalked. So she finally, you know, had someone come out. And by the time I hung up the phone and walked outside, I think it may have been a minute or two. These officers pulled up and they pulled up with the same people. And like I said, this officer that um, that pulled up and was stalking me and monitoring me initially, as soon as I walked out of the Target, his name was Peterson or Peters, excuse me, not son, but Peters.